Before I discuss the data protection law in the European economic area, uh, we have to dwell a little bit on the economic area itself. So uh, many of you might know that the European Economic Area, often called the EA, uh, unites the 28 EU, mem EU member states and the three EA EFTA states, Iceland, Norway, and Liechtenstein. So the, the counterparts of CNIL are actually uh, 28 plus 3. So just to have that, uh, that said. So the EA uh, was established by the EA agreement. That's an international agreement which entered into force on 1st of January 1994 and uh, brings together EU uh, member states and the three EF states in a single market uh, referred to as the internal market. Now, the objective of the EA agreement is to create a homogeneous uh, European economic area. <coughs> All relevant EU legislation in the field of the single market is integrated into the EA agreement so that it applies throughout the whole of the EA ensuring uniform application of laws relating to the single market. So the EA agreement provides for the inclusion of EU legislation in all policy areas of the single market. This covers the four freedoms, the free movement of goods, services, persons and capital, uh, as well as competition and state aid rules, but also the following horizontal uh, policies as consumer protection, company law, environment, social policy and statistics. So in addition, the EA agreement provides for cooperation in several horizontal policies such as research and technological development, education, training in youth, employment, tourism, culture, civil protection, enterprise, entrepreneurship and small and medium sized enterprises. So you see there's a lot there within. Uh, the EA agreement guarantees equal rights and obligations within the single market for citizens and economic operators in the EA. Through Article 6 of the EA agreement, the case law of the Court of Justice of the European Union is also of relevance to the EA agreement, as the provisions of the EA agreement shall be interpreted in conformity, uh, conformity with the relevant rulings of the Court given prior to the date of signature, that was the 2nd of May in 1992. Cooperation is to be carried out through common activities of various types, such as EAF, the participation in EU programs. Now, one of the sectors governed by the EA agreement is EU data protection law. So to answer a little bit your question in short, uh, Iceland's data protection law is the same as EU law. So I might then possibly leave you, but I'll, I'll, I'll continue a little bit with uh, all the rest. So now we know a little bit what is covered by the EA, and, and here on the slide you see what it does not cover. So uh, the EU Customs Union towards third country is not covered, uh, neither is the common agricultural fisheries policies. So, for example, Iceland t still has its own fisheries policy, uh, quite known by some here in the UK, I would say, from in the back, back in the history. Anyway, EU regional policy is not covered either, neither is the common trade policy. Uh, economic and monetary union is not within, neither is justice and home affairs, even though Iceland and Norway are part of the Schengen uh, network. And finally, uh, the EA does not cover uh, common foreign security and defense policy. So this is a little bit where we stand. We have a lot within, but we have uh, safeguarded some, some sectors that, that the EA does not cover. <coughs> 